<laughs> What's up, fam? Extraordinary life with Elijah, and today, Elizabeth, Emily, Sharla, Christy are my extra, and I am the ordinary. Fam, I just got back from a whirlwind of a trip to B Billings to visit my extended family, and it, it was absolutely mind-blowing. The refreshment, the vision, the empowerment, the hope that was imparted to me on this trip, absolutely mind-blowing. Couldn't express it to you if I tried, so I'm not going to, other than to say, God is good. <laughs> back here in Bozeman, traveled back here on Monday when I'm recording this video for you. <laughs> I've got my kids all in bed and now recording this video incredibly late. Bare Bones Studio, I'm kind of digging it. Like, it's a little rough, but super artsy. Loving it. Dive into my four ladies that are my extra for this week. So incredibly beautiful, God in his timing. He does the most ridiculous things and I love his ways. That <laughs> two weeks ago I produced the absolute best individual expression of video that I've ever created. You can watch that in the details in last week's video. But then progressing forward into this week, realized that I had also at the exact same time, exact same time period, produced the very best communal expression of creativity that I've ever created. I was able to create a Mother's Day video here a couple weeks ago, and the four ladies that are listed in my video today blessed me so incredibly much. It, all four of them, when I sat down and asked how they were doing and sharing on camera, said to one degree or another that they were incredibly nervous. Despite their nervousness that they pressed into, the grace and the faith that they had on their lives to, to share their insights. Leadership had prayed over each woman and, and selected them purposefully and intentionally as God laid them on the hearts of leadership. Now, as their leadership said, yes, we honor all four of you, that God has some grace, to some word to impart through you, that they all four stepped into that by faith and shared so boldly, so vulnerably on camera despite being afraid. The beautiful aspect then is that I got to sit with each one of them and I got to receive that word imparted to me as they exercised their gifts to please our Father's heart. They imparted grace to me so that I can know the Father more. As I went back then into the editing room that I had this, this authoring word that was contained within me. Each woman shared 15 to 20 minutes of insights and that in the edit room that I got to say, well, I'm gonna take, uh, ooh, that's really good. And then, wow, that's amazing too. I'm gonna piece that together here. Ooh, gonna take that and twist it over here and I'm gonna plug this in here. <laughs> that I got to then respond on behalf of them to then birth something to my community that would be a joy and enjoyment to them. After everyone saw the video on Sunday morning on Mother's Day, there were so many people then that came back to me and said, Elijah, Thank you so much for that video. It was so beautiful, it was so meaningful. Thank you so much for that. And that I got to tell each person, thank you so much for honoring me and sharing your gratitude with me for my editing skills and being able to share those with the body and to birth something to you that you can enjoy but I didn't really do anything. You should also go and say thank you to all four of the women who shared such beautiful insights that created an encounter for you with our Father's heart. Family, as I pressed into this in prayer, it became such a beautiful encouragement to my heart that on Mother's Day, I got to experience a very, 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 very odd, two more, very, very small <laughs> blessing of what it is to be a mother and to birth something through an authoring word that's placed within you to cause latent capacity to explode into proactive and intentional capability. <laughs> if you run all the way back to Genesis chapter one, you find this creative muse that happens in heaven. It says, let us, plural pronoun, create man in our, plural pronoun, image and let them rule. The beautiful aspect of that is, is that there's this picture of the Trinity at the beginning, talking amongst themselves. How are we gonna do this? I don't know, like we could do it like this. Mm, I like that, but mm, can we do that a little different way? Until finally, 
the establishment of the great desires of God's heart were established. And then running forward into then Hebrews, it says that nothing has been created that has been created aside from the word of the Son's power. Now, the beautiful thing is that in heaven, there we don't sit at a round table. It's a very rectangular table, and seated at the very head of it, firmly established on the throne, is our Father. <laughs> Paul says in Corinthians that after all time and everything has been submitted under Jesus' authority, all power, dominion, authorities, everything is under his power and control, that the Son is then going to return all things to the Father so that the Father can be all and all. Somebody sent at the head of this family table and it's the Father. A beautiful thing about that though is that the Father in having all power, authority, dominion, the kingdom, everything belongs to him, that he takes his desires, hands them to the Son, and then says, Son, I'm authorizing you to speak whatever you want. You have grace, you have favor with me. Whatever you say, it's going to happen. <laughs> Jesus then took all that power and authority and the knowledge of the Father's heart said, mm, I love that. Thank you, Dad. I'm going to take that piece. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to take that piece. I'm going to put it over here. Ooh, I'm going to take that. I'm going to twist it here. I'm put it together. Bada boom, bada beam. I'm going to release it. And that then his authoring word passed through the veil of the Spirit's presence, presiding over the unformed goo and chaos of the earth's substance. And when Jesus said, be it was, and Spirit brought it into reality. Merging just past that then, we'll only take it one step further. We encounter man in the garden, and God says to man, praise all the animals past him, and says, man, what are you gonna call those things? And whatever the man called that animal, that was its name. It's so beautiful then, though, that Father, Son, Spirit had created all things. They knew exactly what they would call those things, but instead that they, they took their author ability and stuck it in man and said, you're made in our image and likeness. You're a co-creator with us, so call it, man. Whatever you name those animals, that's going to be its name. Fox, I like that. F-O-X. Fam, I think it's so beautiful looking at that expression in, in that it's not just something that we get to look at theologically or doctrinally or orthodoxically or denominationally or any other ism or ology that you want to think about, but that we get to engage it in living practice. It's so beautiful that the authority in my faith family picked four women and said, we honor you and we impart favor and grace to you as your authority to say that there is a word that God has for you that's going to establish something in the lives of the women that you're called to minister to. And we're calling forth that word in you. You know our hearts, we know yours, and you're gonna do such a beautiful job. That all four women stepped to the plate and said, yes, we will. That they released a word of faith that then I got to receive into my life, and that it passed through my person. And I got to manifest an expression that other people could see, that they could hear, that they could have joy, exhortation, encouragement, correction, conviction, any number of things that God had to impart to them through me as a result of receiving the word of the women in my life from the authority that was placed on them by their leadership. <laughs> so incredibly beautiful, my friends. My encouragement to you is, is that we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works that he prepared in advance for us to do, which means that your identity is tied to tasks which imparts a destiny and and a purpose for you. Now, as you arise to let your good works shine before other people so that they can be seen by them to create attention backwards to our Father, that as you step out in faith, in spite of your fear, in spite of your questions of, is this doing anything? I have no idea what I'm doing. This is incredibly intimidating. I. I have no idea what I'm doing and this is super uncomfortable. That as you step into 
faith with God that he is our ultimate authority and you affirm, yes, I am your good workmanship. I have good works that you created in advance of my person and I have a destiny and purpose and by cracky, I'm gonna do my works of faith. I'm gonna serve to please the Father's heart to the exercise of my gifts by faith to impart grace to you. I see you, I'm coming for you. Open it, <laughs> I pour grace to you so that you can know my Father more as you receive that grace. And as much as I receive grace from four women <laughs> to help me know the Father more, that as you receive grace and know the Father more, that you're gonna be empowered to release that grace in such a way that it helps all of us to receive grace to know our Father more. and. The cycle goes on and on. My encouragement to you, my exhortation, my admonition, all of the big words that inspire action <laughs> would be that you would press into whatever it is that God has given you to do by faith. Do not shrink back, regardless of what you're feeling, regardless of the insecurities that you might be facing. Do not shrink back, take your stand in the grace that God has given you and move forward as you do. You will serve to please your Father's heart through the exercise of your gifts by faith. Courage is not the lack of fear, but it's doing what God has given you to do anyway in spite of your fear. And as you do, you will impart grace to others so that they can know him more. <laughs> mm. If you subscribe to what I'm doing, then hit the button, hit it, and then get it. Release those good works by faith, my friends. Hit the bell as well so you get notified with the new content. And if you love this video, you didn't just like it, you loved it. Then hit the thumbs down button. Huge shout out to Anne Berlin. Oh my goodness, you blessed my heart so much, lady. <laughs> she, she left me a comment and said, it is so incredibly hard to hit the thumbs down button, man. But I smashed that thing. <laughs> Great video, but man, it's hard to hit that thumbs button, down button. Follow the example of Anne Berlin. Oh my goodness, blesses my heart so much. If you love this video, you didn't just like it, hit the thumbs down button. Pray blessings on all of your days. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video.